Hello everyone, this video is about this valid order, or fan wolves. What are they, do you ask? They are Polkita. What are Polkita, do you ask? Well, they are hungry for aquatic nadids, like the Bobbit worm and this Marindilta. The fan worms range from a few millimeters to 40 centimeters. They are filter feeders. To take food, they use a tentacular crown made up of radios. These are heavily sedated, causing the prey to be trapped. With that crown, they don't only eat, they also breathe, and they also see with them. Possessing photoreceptors in that crown. Another great thing is that you don't see their body unless you have X-ray vision, because they live in tubes. These tubes are made out of sand, and what they find nowadays a lot of plastic. All is stuck together with cement on nature, mucus. Because of this appearance, there are tube worms, but this term can also refer to these ones and these ones. But what are you blind? They're completely different. Tornades are even a different film, even as much as Bray Cooper and a jellyfish. The fan worms live in coastal waters across the world, and some even in fresh water. There are three families within the group. Some famous species are the giant feather duster worm, living in the intertidal zone of the western coast of North America, the peacock worm, found in shallow waters in Western Europe and the Mediterranean, the Mediterranean fan worm, guess where it lives, Australia, yes, but it's invasive there, the Christmas tree worm, lives in the tropics, this last species and its other family members have an operculum, enormous speech called lid to close their tube when they have to retract inside the tube. They generally possess separate sexes. They release sperm and eggs in the sea, as many do. I do it on land. Some polychaetes change form like a transformer, becoming their reproductive form, called epitaki, 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 but I don't know if fan worms do it as well. Releasing gametes in the water seems a hazard. Still, many will be born as trochophor larvae. But you misled it if you think it's the only way. They can also reproduce by padding. How wonderful having your child coming out of your shoulder. Hovers even split in two. And that's the cycle of life, I guess. One day you hold, and the other, your left side becomes your child. Well, that's all for these beautiful worms. Bye.